Transclusion is one of the most misunderstood terms in AngularJS, so in this short video, I'm going to provide a quick look at what transclusion is and how you can use it in AngularJS directives. Now, most dictionaries out there don't actually have a definition for a transclusion, but a lot of websites like Wikipedia do, and here's one of those. The inclusion of a document or part of a document into another document by reference. Now, the first time you read this, that may not make a whole lot of sense, so let's look at some examples that pertain to web development. So, for example, you might have an HTML fragment, and you'd like to import that in dynamically into the page using something like a server-side include. Well, that process would be transclusion. Or you might have a CSS style sheet, and you want to link that into the main document using the link element. Well, that would also be an example of transclusion. Now, when it comes to AngularJS, directives can use transclusion to allow the user of a directive to pass in some content into the directive's template. So, for example, the directive might have this div, but it doesn't really know what to put here. That's going to be up to the user or the consumer of the directive. So, let me show you an example of that. So, let's say that we have our directive with a template, and I want some unknown content to go right here. Well, the way we do that is we use a directive called ng transclude that's provided by AngularJS. And that, in essence, is saying, hey, I want to be able to import some custom content into this area within the div. And so the user of this directive might do the following. They might define the directive as you see here. Here's our template. And then at runtime, that's going to be imported into the directive. It'll then do its processing. And then the HTML is going to be output and the browser will render that. And that's a quick look at what transclusion is in AngularJS.